Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Alistar support here in season 11. He's one of the better roam supports, which is generally the best type of support to play in solo queue. After you have tier one boots or preferably boots of mobility, you start running around the map, winning the game for your team. It's much easier to do if your AD carry knows how to position or if they're playing something safe like Ezreal or Jin. With a Twitch AD carry, I'm gonna need to get him a little lead in lane or shove out way before i do begin to roam i'm gonna go ahead and reset i was looking for a uh invade play gp should really stay though give oh here it is bada boom knock up um yep he's a goner mm, yeah i'll just i guess i'll just run back to lane i might be able to get a cheeky hit on ziggs on my way I can flash for it, but he's not going to let me. I took a lot of damage there. That's all right. What the heck? I flashed anticipating Swain to do something like that. For him to throw out the thing right when the snare was going off to grab me. I mean, they're missing CS. I don't know what they're doing. They're, they're literally... <laughs> they, they just missed... Uh, Send missed four minions. Swain got there for the last two. That's bizarre. That they're just gonna willingly give that up. I'm gonna go ahead and just buy a control ward and get Oracle Lens. Having a warding totem is nice for when you're first in lane, for warding for jungle ganks, that type of thing. But once you are on your first back, you generally want to get the Oracle Lens. First item you want to go for is gonna be a locket of the Iron Solari. It's super strong. It uh, gives you a lot of useful stats like armor for turret dives, HP for turret dives, ability haste, and it also gives your nearby allies extra armor and magic resist, and it's going to be giving you extra armor and magic resist per completed item. Plus, the shield that it gives is really, really big. Really love this item. I don't have my level 2 yet. Your support item has 3 charges. When it's at 3, you obviously want to try to use it. You don't want to take too much damage level one. Range champions will typically bull you off minions. And you don't want to be taking multiple autos and abilities. Basically, if you're going to lose more than 100 HP, it wasn't worth it at all. We're level two now. We can look for a uh, hex flash play here. All right, that didn't work. Big yikes. Ignite this guy. He's dead. Stay on this chick. And big yikes again. We, we just want to shove this wave out at this point. With your spoils of war, you're better off using against the melee minions than the range minions. Range minions give you less gold. We can go ahead, reset, get our boots. We have our biscuits. Biscuits are really nice to have for Alistar support. That way you don't get whittled down too much. Grab our boots and we'll grab a piece of armor. It's gonna build into our next item. Armor is really good for turret dives. Probably not gonna be able to kill the set with weak GP. Probably not gonna be able to kill Ziggs with weak TF. Most likely just gonna to have to go back to lane. For your runes, just, just the phase rush, Nimbus, Celerity, Water Walking. You can go after Shock, it's a little less consistent though. And then Biscuit Delivery and Hex, Hex Tech Flash. Hex Tech Flash is really nice for setting up combos, going over walls, that type of thing. A really useful ones to go over are the raptor walls. You can get the mid laners off that. I think we win this fight. We're ahead of them. That mini wave's kind of big though. It's making me nervous. Hex flash out. WQ into my E. Keep vision of him. Got him. Nice, nice. Hex flash, you get that little bonus Nimbus cloak as well. A lot of extra movement speed. We could potentially freeze it here. It doesn't look like Twitch is too interested. I'll help him shove it. There we go. We have one more spoils of war left. He let me have it. Nice. We can dive her for sure. She's going to be playing hard to get. I'm going to run away with my uh, phase rush. That's one really cool thing about phase rush is you can take engages under turrets 
or really scrappy engages and get away because of the movement speed bonus and the slow resistance it provides. I don't think this is warded. I'll just wait in the bush. The WQ on him. We have our Eon. We're going to auto save the next auto for the stun. We got the Senna Flash. I'm going to eat a biscuit. You should die. Nice. That was huge. I got Cannon Minion as well. This is going amazing. They don't have the type of damage to all in us pre-6. Once they're Swain's level 6, I think they actually beat us. But right now, they're being too aggressive. Alstar has a lot of bursts where they're not really going to be able to win these fights. Whenever you are using your E, if you do two autos, you're going to have to wait to do the stun auto for a while. And they might get out of your reach. So normally what it is, is it's a WQ, E, auto attack. And then on your second auto attack while your E's on, you're going to pause for like a half second to a full second. And then you're going to auto to land your stun. Just keep your eye open for that. My flash is up. GP got a kill. If you don't have lanes to roam to, my mid and top are back. You're going to follow your jungler up until you have minions to go to lane to. So right now there's no hurry to get there. They're pushing the wave to us. So I'm not really missing out on anything. Well... Now I am, like Twitch is, looks like he might incinerate that wave. I have two spoils of war. I'm gonna use one on a melee minion and then I'll use it on the cannon minion. Engage on him, ignite him. I'm gonna start eating biscuits. Yeah, they, they cannot handle these fights at all. I don't even have Aftershock. If I had Aftershock, I'd be way tankier in these fights. What are you doing, Twitch? Another combo is your Flash WQ. It's the same thing, but you just Flash first to get that extra distance. Senna backed off. It's my spoiled war on the melee minions. Looks like Twitch might want to go for the next one. Mm, suppose not. Their jungler is going to be over here on his blue. Or he will be shortly. Oh no, Twitch. I don't know what happened there. He got caught out. I'm going to look for roams. I have nothing to do over there. There's no reason to be there once you have your tier 2 boots. If uh, the wave's not under your turret type of thing. I'm not missing minions because they're killing our wave anyways. And my AD carry isn't there. So we want to be looking for roams. I wonder if I'm on a ward. Yeah, I am. No wonder. This is why you need oracles after your first back on Alistar. Never know when the enemy's gonna do something sneaky like that. That's a really good ward placement. We're gonna go bot now. We're not gonna miss too many minions. Full HP with biscuits and a potion. We should be able to win the fight. Nice TFR. You know, when you're roaming a lot, the enemies are going to be playing aggressive, which can set up kills for your team. It's just mainly if your AD carry is going to be dying a lot. Normally, your AD carry it will just be playing safer since it's 1v2. If they're really, really bad, who knows? I guess they might try to 1v2 the enemies. That'd be tragic. Six is backing. I have nothing to do over there. I guess I'll hover. Just in case Zinzao shows up, you never know. I have no gank mid, no gank top right now, so. Just use our spoils of war, help them shove wave. Maybe look for a dive. I activated my E a little late, which is how they ended up staying on top of me there. I'm gonna live though, I have my potions. So what you saw me do, I turned back to fight them to proc my phase rush, cause when I WQ to try to save the Twitch, I didn't activate my E. So I didn't actually get the phase rush, cause to get phase rush, you need to do three separate attacks. So if I had my E AOE on there, I would have actually uh, had a lot more HP in that situation. Buy a big chunk of HP. We could go bot since we win this 2v2 anyways. That's fine. 
try to get a flank on them. My flash is up, ignites up, Swain's low mana. We haven't had many opportunities to roam this game. Top lane, GP's been solo winning. Mid lane's been not much there. We, we've been doing a lot more fighting in lane than I was hoping for. Get on top of him with my E. Stun him. Knock him towards my Twitch. Ignite him. I need my Q. Knock him up. Auto attack. Save my second auto for the stun. WQ. A little tip on your WQ is you don't have to time it perfectly. As long as you press Q before your W lands, it'll do it automatically for you. So you don't have to time the Q right as you're landing. You can press it at any point once your W starts. All right, nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna go ahead, reset. Once you get their turret, you're never gonna go back to lane right now. Looks like we might have a top top lane roam option. The enemies are playing so far up. Whenever I leave, it makes it really easy to come back. We're gonna buy a pink ward. You wanna have a pink ward on you at all times. Also known as a control ward. We'll look at that while we're moving. We don't really need to look at ourselves. Looks like they're going out of the way to shove it so I can run towards mid for a neutral play. By running mid, you can go top, mid, or bot. If you just run bot, the top place plays completely out of the picture. You will miss a few minions doing that, but set yourself up for more overall. Using sweeper, the enemies might be bush camping over here. Yep, they are. Knock her up. Trying to get him off my Twitch, I have my R on. Twitch gets the kill. See if I can block this chick. She snared me. TF gets the stun, we're gonna WQ, and we got the kill. Even if you get the kill, it's not a big deal, as long as the enemies die. We have one more Spoils of War, so we saved it for the cannon minion. We'll take this turret and then just perma room. 14 minutes, turret plates drop off. Then you won't be able to really mess with these anymore. If we were top right now, we could set up the kill there. Uh, I guess I can help him shove this before I leave. I just want to get out of here now. There's just no reason to fight it. There's no real incentives and Zao could be here and it's going to get weird. I'm going to go run top immediately. We now have our Targaryen's Buckler for some extra stats because we've got enough spoils of war off of it. Whenever you're roaming, you can, uh, after you get the kill, go. if you have three spoils of war, use at least one of them, because it only holds up to three, so you never really want to have three on you at any given time. You want to try to have it at zero. Always have it at less than three, though. That way, when you're moving around the map, you're not wasting gold, because it takes time to recharge. Got a word down, we have Oracle Lens as we checked both bushes. We used it not late. We used it early, that way we could check them all. This guy's playing really far back though. The enemies might just AFK. Would not be very shocked about that. Getting some deep wards. I can look for a dive play here. Uh, might just go for this. I there, if you saw, I auto attack, but my second auto attack, I did it too soon to where I didn't actually stun him on my E because I autoed like a half a second too early. Luckily, we had the damage in the CC to kill him regardless, but that's why whenever you're using your E, you only have time to do one auto before you have to wait for the second one. You don't want a double auto before the stun, only one auto before the stun. We're max our W second, E last. Yes, so Wayne's gonna get picked down here. I have some really good vision in the area. We have really high KP. If you have more than 50% KP on supports early game, that's really, really good. Just 
She's gonna want that. And she got it. I'll hex flash the wall. I'm waiting for him to jump to Twitch so I could hit him. I didn't want to engage while his jump was still up. I'm gonna headbutt him off of my Twitch, stun him, he's dead. It's okay to stagger your CC in defensive positions like that. If you use it all at once, it can kind of go to waste. So if there's a melee champion coming after your guy, you can use one at one of your CCs at a time. So like W them first and then set up a Q or Q first, wait till they come down, W type of thing. Oh, go ahead and reset. I'll get this ward down. I, need, I could use some control words. I can also pick up a Kindle and gem. Go ahead and pick up this. Okay, I actually can't afford a control word. I'll just buy a double control word then. Now that we have full map control, we want to look to end this game on roam supports like Alstar or Bard or Pike. You don't want to be playing in the Hyper Lake game. Typically, Hyper Lake game supports like Janna or Soraka are more useful. Use my locket here. Nah, I guess we don't need it. It's just a big shield for you and your teammates. We still have our spoils of war. Our Targon's buckler is not in its final form yet. It's not in its final evolution. Set up a flash here. I'm gonna headbutt her into the wall, into Q, into stun, and she should die. I have my uh, thing. I use my shield, knock him up, E. I had to butt him away and try to run. Your headbutt pushes them really far away from you, but if the wall is thicker, if the wall is at least 60% thicker than the total distance of your W, then they won't go through it. So again, something like this thick, you can headbutt them into the wall and it's a really long stun because your headbutt pushes them back for a second or a second and a half. So if I headbutt her into the wall, it's a second and a half stun. And then I drop my Q on her head and obviously I had my E on. So she was basically chain CC'd for three or four seconds there. She couldn't play. And I was tanking turret with my R, so she couldn't do much. Your R is best against tanking turrets or if there's multiple enemies hitting you in a team fight. That's usually when you're going to use it. When you do use it, they'll typically stop attacking you immediately. So do keep that in mind. You don't want to use it too early. I'll head bottom into the wall. Q. Stun him. Try to run away. I might. Ooh, I actually didn't die. Kind of surprised about that. My locket's on cooldown. I can't use it here. I'll get a ward on our flank. I'm already watching this spot. My ultimate's on cooldown. My locket's up in a little bit. Got a vision of this guy. I'll go for it. I ignited him and I have my R on. That's why Sam is only doing 60 damage on a crit auto attack. I have my locket as well that we could look to use here. I'll use it. I took some damage and Twist of Fate was going in. Do I have enough mana? 75, 85? I don't. I only have enough mana for... Oh, Jesus. I didn't even see that. Twitch is dead. That was a bit too aggro on my part. I needed to back off. If you're that low... I, I was too low on HP and mana. I needed to get out. TF was too far away. The Zin Zhao R consumed the damage. Next item you want to go is typically Zeke's after you have your locket. Zeke's or Knight's Vow. Zeke's is better if you have a hyper carry on your team like a Twitch or a Master Yi. Gives your teammate a lot of damage, I believe, per auto attack. Yeah, your teammates auto attacks on hit deal a bunch of extra damage and some percent based health damage as well. It's a lot. And we have the twitch, so. Whenever you take turrets, those are usually good spots to ward. The turrets obviously give visual wards that are close to them. So once you break the turret, it's a good place to lay it. This is covering a lot of openings. It gives us some good forward vision. Twitch got a kill. Cool. I don't want to go too deep in their jungle without a teammate. Even if I am, I'll start. It's kind of sketchy. I run into three people. 
It's going to be very bad for me. You can check for bushes forward with the Oracle lens. You can see champions if they're in the bush with this or if there's a ward. So you can don't have to step all the way in. It gives you a lot of really useful information. All right, we'll get this guy. Alistar's great at picking people who are out of position. Knock him up. I'll push him into the wall. I got the kills, whatever. After I knocked him up, I pulled back and waited for the CC to end. That way I don't waste it. And then I headbutted him while my E was on. After he came out of the headbutt CC, I was going to stun him with an auto. Oh, boy. Get a ward down right there. We have our lock it up. Ziggs is trying to halt the wave. We might need Baron buff. We have multiple waves pushing in. Ziggs and Zerath are two really good wave clear champs that can halt non Baron wave pushes in the mid game. I'm gonna use my locket, try to help him. Might still die though, yeah. He didn't really have anywhere to go. Kha'Zix was in a really weird spot there. Let's take this ward. Good job, GP. Got a control ward down there. Bada boom. Break the ward. No, we didn't get the gold. I have my ignite on him. One auto attack into stun. He was perma CC'd. It's awesome. I have two spoils of war on right now. I assume this bush is actually warded. I'll lay it. He just broke my control ward. Bada boom, E into Q. I mean, uh, W into Q, then E. R, Q. My Eon. They killed him before he could hit the ground with me. Oh, what is he going for? He's really going for it. We have uh, more dragons. We only need one more dragon for dragon soul. We have three out of four. It's going to be an ocean soul. The third dragon that spawns determines the uh, dragon type. So it'll never be a dragon soul of what the first two are. If the first two dragons are earth and fire dragon, it's not going to be that. So for this game, for example, it was uh, flame drake first, earth drake second. And then it looks like they got an ocean and then we got the ocean. It's an ocean soul. It only, after the first two, does the soul dragons. Which is never the first two dragons, so. The least useful dragon is wind soul. The most useful souls are uh, typically flame and ocean soul. They're really, really strong. We got Zeke's, we're gonna go into Knight's Vow. or a Dead Man's at this point. Uh, I think I'd actually prefer Dead Man's. This is whatever. We have a Twitch carry. He's really, really, really fed. Knight's Vow is really useful for that. It makes your ally take reduced damage when you're near them. They have less than 50% health. Oh, that, that's for the movement speed. So my ally will take 15% reduced damage when this is on him and I'm near him. And I'll even move faster towards them if they're low on HP. 35% is a lot. It's mainly for the damage reduction, though. It's an artificial shield. Looks like we got all of them. Twitch and TF popped off there. Something I could have done to help the Twitch was press R with my Zeke's on him. That would have given him extra damage since he was within my circle. He might have actually lived if I did that. So even though I wasn't in the fight, I could have just pressed R and it would have given him that extra damage. He's a goner. Still have my flash too. And my locket. And that is GG guys. That's how you play. Ooh. Hold on now. Alright, let's end it.
that's gg guys that's how you play alistar support here in season 11 league of legends if you enjoyed this alistar support guide don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name is king sticks thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time